Did you ever see the computer as like an extension of your mind, like something able to achieve? Not till later. Okay. Yeah, not not then. It's just like a little set of puzzles that you can play with, and you can you can play with math puzzles and. Yeah, it was it was too rudimentary early right. on. Like it was sort of, yeah, it was too. It was a lot of work to actually take a thought you'd have and actually get it implemented, and that's still work, but it's getting easier. And so, yeah, I would say that's definitely what's attracted me to Python is that that was more real, hmm. right? The ex I could think in Python. Speaking a foreign language, I only speak another language fluently besides English, which is Spanish. And I remember the day when I would dream in Spanish and you start to think in that language. And then you actually, I do definitely believe that language limits or expands your thinking. Uh, there are some languages that actually lead you to certain thought processes. Yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> so I speak Russian fluently and that's certainly, uh, a, a language that leads you down certain thought processes. Right? Well, yeah, I mean, there's a um, there's a history of the two world wars, right? Of the of millions of people starving to death or near to death throughout its history of suffering of injustice, like this promise sold to the people, and then the the carpet or whatever swept from under them. And it's like broken promises, and all of that pain and melancholy is in the language, the sad songs, the, the sad hopeful songs, the over romanticized, like, I love you, I hate you, the the sort of, <laughs> the swings between the, all the various uh, spectrums of emotion. So that's all within the language. The wow. way it's twisted, uh, poetry, there's a, there's a there's a strong culture of rhyming poetry. So like the bards, like the, the sing, there's a musicality to the language too. Did Dostoevsky write in Russian? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, so a, like Dostoevsky, Tolstoy, all the yeah. uh, <laughs> all the, the, the ones that I know about, which are translated, and I'm yeah. curious how the translations. So Dostoevsky did not use the musicality of the language too much, so he actually translates pretty well because it's so philosophically dense okay. that the story does a lot of the work. But there's a bunch of things that are untranslatable. Certainly, the poetry is not translatable. I actually have a few conversations coming up offline and also on this podcast with people who've translated Dostoevsky. Oh. And that's an, for people who worked, who work in this field, know how difficult that is. Sometimes you can spend, you know, months thinking about a single sentence right? in, in the context, like, cause there's just the magic captured by that sentence. And how do you translate it just in the right way? Because those words can be, uh, can be really powerful. There's, there's a famous line, Beauty will save the world from Dostoevsky. Uh, you know, there's so many ways to translate that. And you're right, the language gives you the tools with which to tell the story, but it also leads your mind down certain trajectories and paths yes. to where over time, as you think in that language, you become a different human being. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and, that's a fascinating reality, I think. There's, I know people have explored that, but it's, I guess, we rediscovered. Well, we don't, we live in our own like little pockets. Like this is the sad thing mm -hmm. is I feel like unfortunately given time and given getting older, I'll never know the ch uh, China, the Chinese world yeah. because I don't truly know the language. Same with Japanese. I don't truly know Japanese and uh, Portuguese and Brazil, that whole South American continent. Like, yeah, I'll go to Brazil and Argentina, but will I truly understand the people right. if I don't understand the language? And it's, it's it's sad because um, I, I wonder how much how many geniuses were missing because uh, because so much of the scientific world, so much of the technical world is in English, yes. and so much of it might be lost because they're they just we don't have the common language. I completely agree. I'm very much in that vein of there's a lot of genius out there that we miss yeah. and it's sort of we're sort of fortunate when it when it bubbles up into something in the, that we can understand or process there's a lot we miss so that's why i tend to lean towards really loving uh democratization or things that empower people or you know i, I very resistant to sort of authoritarian structures fundamentally for that reason it, it, it well several reasons but it, it just hurts us yeah we're, we're worse off